friends on a Wednesday and you know that means we're gonna get to see something new <laughs> I do like these unboxing days every week you know we bring you a new video every day of the week and every Wednesday you can see an unboxing here and by the way every Monday over on our Twitter channel and our Facebook we do drop a weekly schedule guide so you get to know what videos are coming out what day of the week since we do put out a video every day figure might as well schedule things right <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, this definitely got squeezed onto the schedule at the last minute because I wasn't sure when this was actually coming in. But by the gods of fate and destiny, it got here. <laughs> so join me down the table, my friends, and we're going to find out what's in the Pixies box. <laughs> I'll see you down the table. Ah, Questeros. So I had a lot of fun with this game. I did a preview of this with a uh, with a beta deck. Really good beta deck, but a beta deck before this went to Kickstarter. And I had a lot of fun with this game. And I'm so glad to see that, uh, that it, you know, it backed. So that's awesome that my backer copy has finally gotten here. And now I'm, uh, well, it got here a while ago. But now I'm <laughs> finally, finally have time to drop the video. So, uh, Foo, where's Foo? Hello, Foo. So, uh, you know, want to check this out? There's a tarot cards. Whoa, 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 hey, Foo, 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 come on back. Come on back. Hey, Foo, Foo, what's the matter? Is this the tarot cards? I think it's, it's not much different than tea leaf reading or palm reading? Come on. Okay, ready? Well, then maybe you can just give up that blade because the, you could just, Foo, if you worried about tarot cards and stuff. Why are you fooling around? Just give me, give me the blade. Ah. Okay. Thank you very much, Foo. Now allow me to move you to a safe location. Please, everyone, a round of applause for the incomparable, the marvelous Foo Manchu. <laughs> so, uh, let's, uh, let's check this out one at a time. We got some back of extra stuff that uh, also showed up. Uh, let's start with with the base, with the base, Questeros. Nice, right? Very cool. So this game is, uh, it plays solo differently than it plays multiplayer. I, I really appreciate when games do that. But you know, you can also use this as a regular real tarot deck. Yeah. And uh, also you can use it for uh, for fate decks and role-playing games. Yeah, you know, things like Dungeons and Dragons. You can uh, supplement using this for certain magical decks that are in the, that game's universe. But before you can do any of that, we're going to have to unbox this. So please, my friends, always cut away from yourself. Here we go. So uh, here we, this is uh, Eros, Ero, actually Ero. He's the uh, the hero in the solo game, and this should ask yes, the magnetic clasp. Very cool, very nice. The artwork is great. Colors really pop. Really sticks out. Really grabs your attention. 
you'll see a lot of these, or all of these actually, in the art of the cards. Hmm. Then all the information on the back. So let's see. Ready? Ha ha! Oh, is this the first player token? I like, I really do enjoy the fact that this company, uh, Fundamental Games, uses these clear acrylic tokens that they then, you know, picture over, paint over, art over. I really do love that. They look fantastic. Oh, no, let's, oh, let's. Okay, and that's everything. Really nice box. Very cool. Let's put that over here. So we can still see it, huh? Okay, this is, oh yeah, nice. Cool. I like the fact that uh, they gave us this. I didn't have a, a, anything like this in the, uh, in the prototype. So this is really cool to see. Keep track of everything really nice for Eero's Quest. Cool, cool, cool. Excellent. And the rule book. Nice and handy. Look at that. Page 16 starts the solo. So between uh, after the contents and the objective. There you go for the multiplayer starting on page 3. You want to page 11? That's not, that's not a lot. I don't remember the rules for this being very heavy at all. Kind of made sense once you played through it once or twice. Ah, card meaning, scan me, scan me! Go ahead, scan me, please. <laughs> Using it as a fate deck, that's cool, nice. Sweet. And some information about the artist, John DeCampos. Really, I really like the art, John. Very cool work. Thank you for everything you put into this. Ah, oh, I thought it'd be divided into uh, ma uh, minor and major, but it's just kind of divided out evenly in these stacks. But this is a lot more of the artwork than I got to see originally with the prototype. Though the artwork I did see, like this, was really was really good work. So please, everyone, be careful. Okay, so we're starting off with the blades here. Uh, let's see, we got blades and then cups. And then the orbs. Let's see, oh, it's gonna be broken up, huh? Yeah, it's gonna be broken up. As we see the staves ending off here and continuing here. Let's take a look at some of these Really nice cards. The artwork is uh, very captivating and everything that I can see. Now, I'm not going to show off every single card here in this uh, set, this collection. We're going to leave something to the imagination, something for you to look forward to seeing yourself. But to give you an idea of the art in these cards. Wow, the Tunnel Blades is nice. Is it like an Etten? Cycloptic Etten? Cool. King of Blades. Not to be confused with the Queen of Tarts. One of Cups. Now it keeps the uh, a lot of the core symbology behind the tarot cards, I find. It really doesn't stray from it too much. And adds in its own twist, plus a general fantasy twist at the same time. That's really cool. Well, that shows the amount of uh, thought, I think, that went into the design aspect of this game. Can't have a game based on tarot cards and then do whatever the hell you want with the art. I like the orbs. This would be uh, equivalent to coins in the tarot deck, uh, the, the, the non-game tarot deck. <laughs> Let's take a look at a few of these, right? Let's look at all three of these. And we're gonna have a lot more of that, plus the Major Arcana should be in here.
See the rest of the staffs. Very cool, very interesting. Let's keep them together, right? So these are the equivalent of the Major Arcana cards. Starting right here, these are, these are special cards. Now come into play uh, during the quest, especially Eero quest, I remember. The Zero, there's your Jester. <laughs> and then starting with the Major Arcana, if you're familiar with tarot cards, then again, you're gonna see a lot of things familiar. You're gonna understand who these uh, translate to. Again, the art is amazing. Really cool. Even even this, it's so dark, yet you can see everything in it. Ah. <laughs> okay, so then after uh, the Major Arcana here, and the encounter cards, I remember this while playing the game. And uh, this will help run you through, well, exactly that, the encounters that you're going to have in the game that you're playing. Epic cards. And then, an, oh, an advertisement. Die in the Dungeon. Really fun game. I've been running an ongoing campaign with the Troll of Bones. There he is. There he is right in the corner there. Lob. That's what I affectionately call him. Okay. So now that that is everything for the, the the box. This is everything that came in the box that you get with the game. Let's see. Let's get these out of the way because this is not everything though. Though though this is everything that comes in the box. It's not everything that we get here. So now we have uh, we have some extra stuff over here on the side. And we got some uh, some tokens that you'll be able to use and keep track of things and what's going on, who's going on. Oh, nice, perfect fit. Look at that. Oh, wow! Just jumping right out. No, uh, <laughs> no problem whatsoever. Look at that. Look at that. Now you got like finger cuffs. Ah! Tokens of uh, various characters, things that you're going to be dealing with. You're going to need to keep track of. These are good quality. Very nice. I think uh, anyone would approve of them. Cool. And now we have these uh, backer extra goal cards and such. Ah, this, I'm, I have no idea what any of these cards are, so I'm really looking forward to them. Again, everyone, please, always when you're doing something like this, be careful. All right, well, starting with the card we were able to see here, it says draw a card, then discard a card from your hand. That's very helpful. The back of this card is, sh is just showing that. Oh, okay. Play a class card as though it were a preferred class of the turn. You cannot rank other cards of the actual preferred class. Set one card to the side, treat as if it were a quest earned this round. Add plus three rank to any card played. This must be... Oh, yeah, I, I, I did have some of these I played with. Let's go to card, then take a card that did not win the quest... So we have all of these. Oh, that's nice, yeah. It's like Hercules riding the Nemean line instead of having defeated it, like tamed it and made it his mount. Oh, that'd be a good story. Okay. What's this? Shuffle your hand in the drawer pile, then draw the amount. Oh, <laughs> talk about a reset. Right, that's what that is. So that's what all of these are, these special action cards. Each player must give a card of their choice to the player of their left. Oh, that's cool. 
bonus character cards. Here we go. So, uh, these character cards are a Kickstarter exclusive. They can be used to add an alternative rule to the multiplayer game. Allow each player to choose a character or shuffle the deck and deal cards to each player until each player has an epic card that matches one of the character cards. And give them that card. This can be done once for the game or once per round depending on your preference. Each round of play, the character card may be played once before or after you play your card or at the end of the turn depending on the ability of your character. It may only be used one time per round of play. Oh, very cool. Interesting. Oh, that is definitely going to change a lot of little tactics in the game, I think. Especially if you're doing it round to round, right? You'd think it must. Okay, I am going to look forward to adding this to everything else. Everything else being all of this. All in, 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 in this one travel ready to go box. <laughs> Oh, forgot my tokens. All right, everyone, so that is what's in the box. That's what you get with the tarot card-based fantasy game, Questeros. Oh, Questeros. <laughs> I'm your buddy, Big Johnny G, for Two Gun Picture Presents. Legendary Gaming and I am... Out of here.